Gardner police are investigating an email that includes both racial slurs and threats against a school. Police say the email appears to have gone out to 5,000 people and come from a Gardner Public Schools email account. But as WBZ's Paul Burton explains, it's still not clear who actually sent it. These were horrific, horrific images. Gardner School Superintendent Mark Pellegrino is horrified by at least two email blasts that were sent out to thousands of Gardner students early Saturday morning. I was shocked. The images, videos, and messages are too graphic and hateful to be shown on TV. The email included violence, racism, and child pornography. They said they would blow up the school on Sunday. The police have already done, you know, a thorough search of all the schools. School has been really tough right now, so getting something like that is just kind of shocking. Um, it's disgusting. The email came from a high school student's email account, but Pellegrino is urging everyone not to jump to conclusions. So there's a name attached to these emails. And I'm, I'm very concerned that people are going to jump to the conclusion that that person who owns the account was also also the author author of these messages. I don't know that that's necessarily true. Whoever sent the email should really be in trouble for what they did. Gardner Public Schools have been on remote learning. The IT department quickly discovered the problem in one of the family communications tool and shut it down. There's an option in one of our tools which allows broadcast emails to other people in the community. And somehow that was checked off so it's since been turned off so it this wouldn't happen again the superintendent says right now the focus is on families students and staff who may have seen some of those horrific graphic images and provide any support they need they're also working with the crisis team we want to make sure that we're supporting all of our families as well as our staff the school department is working with gardner police who are investigating the incident in gardner on paul burton wbz news